Welcome back. This is Dan from Wonky Cuts Workshop, ready for another project. This time we're going to use the offcut of walnut that I used in my previous video on the chopping board. This block of walnut has got some nice burr in it and I'm hoping to make two single cup tea light holders out of it. Here I'm squaring up the sides before I'm cutting it down to the actual size and starting to do the shaping. The blocks are going to be 80 millimeters square and approximately filling in on this tongue. So after determining the size, I'm cutting down two strips of 80 millimeters wide. And look, I'm using a push stick again. And now I'm removing the fence and installing the mitre gauge ready for a cross cut. Here I'm cleaning up the edges before I cut the blocks down to final size. And now while I'm measuring, I just want to extend a thanks to those who have supported my channel so far. I really appreciate the likes, the comments and the subscribers. And to you new ones, welcome. it's cut down to size I'm marking up the center ready to drill out the holes for the tea light cups I'm using a 42 millimeter Forstner bit to drill out the holes Now that I've uh, finished drilling the holes and tested the uh, tea light cups, I'm marking up the shape lines that I'm going to use to cut in the barrels at the top and the bottom. I'm sure there's a scientific name for the shape that I'm trying to achieve. I don't know it, but you'll see what I'm trying to do once we get going. It all makes sense in my head anyway. As you'll see in a bit, the top angle or bevel I'm going to be rough cutting on the table saw. Then I'll be sanding it down on my disc sander. The bottom bevel I'll probably do it all on this disc sander. That took some time, didn't it? Sorry about that. Well, over to the table saw. These are the rough cuts I've been doing here on the table saw. It's quite a shallow angle. I think it's about 15 degrees. I'll clean them up on the uh, disc sander in a bit. Here on the disc sander, I'm trying to sand it back to the lines that I drew earlier. This is another great little machine I purchased last month. It's the Axminster Workshop AW300DS, in case you wanted to know. I actually bought it on Facebook. The guy said he'd never used it, it was still in a box. Well chuffed with that. Oh yeah, please ignore the mess in the background. I've accumulated a lot of stuff over the years and, yeah, just haven't got to it. But I am working on it, I promise. And 
now I've achieved the shape that I wanted. I'm going to be using some uh, sheets of sandpaper to smoothen down the surfaces. I hate sanding, that's what I sped it up so I didn't have to bore you too much with it. Finally finished. I think I actually got cramp in my arm doing that. Well. That's my favourite bit anyway. I'm using the same mineral oil as I used on the chopping board. I quite like it and it brings out the grain quite nicely. Very nice, if I have to say so myself. And now it's time to brand it, so uh, I'm heating up the branding iron again. should have done that before I put dye on as you can see oh well looks good I'll remember it for next time though these ones ended up in my mum's suitcase as well before she left cheeky and there's a picture of the finished product safely back home at my mum's house in Norway Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.